Hey, so we all know that we're living in a mad, mad, crazy world. And since all the lockdown and COVID stuff, there's been a lot of people new to prepping. So this is a message for you guys, really. Um, I've been seeing on a lot of prepper groups on like Telegram and Facebook of people that are kind of where a lot of preppers were when they started out, um, which is the panic stage of, oh my good God, yeah, suddenly realised that the grid could go down, that I could be, you know, supermarket food shortages, all of the stuff that, that preppers have been worrying about since, well, since I guess prepping was a thing. Um, and getting that realisation, the first thing I'd say to anyone new to prepping is don't panic. I mean, I've been prepping most of my life. My dad's kind of like, does it um so that's kind of how I got into it it was kind of a cool hobby that my dad had um you know going around nuclear bunkers and that sort of thing quite an interesting quite an interesting thing to do so um so yeah that was that was kind of my introduction to prepping and then obviously I live off grid so it's more a uh, like day-to-day -day lifestyle when you're off grid um but if you're in civilization still and you're new to prepping, don't panic. I mean, COVID is the kind of closest, I think, to a SHTF sort of situation that we have lived through as a society. Um, and we're still getting food. People can still kind of access medical care. Um, all of that sort of thing is still going. But if you're new to prepping, then welcome to the Madhouse. Um, it's a surprisingly, surprisingly wholesome community. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can I really say about it? Everybody that is in prepping wants to get to prepping because they want to look after themselves and look after their loved ones in if anything does ever happen. Um, one of the things that I've been seeing on a lot of groups and a lot of people new to prepping saying is that their friends and family aren't really that understanding of their, of their new hobby, um, of their new lifestyles. So the thing I'd say to that is ease people into it gently. Don't talk to people about, you know, like kind of SHDF disasters and kind of go down the conspiracy thing to start off with. Just kind of like put it to them like, well, you know, if there's a power cut, then I'm totally, totally sorted. You know, if there's a problem with the water system, I can collect rainwater and filter it myself. That sort of thing, little baby steps. Just kind of think about how you got to the mindset where you decided that prepping was something that you wanted to focus on. Um, and it's not going to be an overnight thing for most people. So ease people into it gently and don't force things down people's throats because nobody's going to, uh, to listen to that. Very nice helicopter going over there, nice apocalyptic uh, prepper sound effects I've got in the countryside today. Um, so yeah, the next thing that I'd say to new preppers is don't think it's got to be about spending money. I mean, there's a lot of things to be said for having good kit, but a lot of people that buy stuff don't really know how to use them. You can always spot these people around a fire because you'll have people at bushcraft events that have got the fanciest, most expensive, swishest knives ever. No idea how to use them, I'm assuming, because the only thing you ever see them doing is showing them off. Um, literally, I, I mean, yeah, that that's just a bit pathetic to me. So people People that spend the money but don't spend the time getting the skills, I wouldn't say that they're preppers. And I think that people that don't have a big budget are the ones that are going to be going and learning the skills. And the skills are what you need. I mean, we're still on the grid as a uh, as a world at the moment. So use the internet. Get DuckDuckGo as your browser. Don't go to Google. But, uh, but yeah, go on the internet. Look up foraging. Look up all the different sort of skills that you think... If if SHTF happened that you would need. I mean, you can spend a lot of money buying fancy water filters. You can buy water filters on a budget, or you can learn how to filter and clean water for absolutely nothing using, you know, the age-old techniques of boiling and, uh, and making your own filters out of, out of kind of, you know, bits that you find around, like rocks and charcoal and, and sand, that sort of stuff. So yeah, I'd I'd say that that'd be the 
the next bit of advice that I'd give to new preppers. I did a video a while ago um, and I'll put a link to it in the description that's prepping without the price tag because yeah I'm a bit of a cheapskate when it comes to things so uh, so yeah I mean if you've got the capitalism to go out and spend hundreds of pounds and or thousands of pounds in some cases maybe on bunkers and survival equipment and and like god knows you know stockpiles of baked beans and mres then you know fair play go do it if that's where you want to spend your money i think that's as good a use as anything but i mean it doesn't really need to be something that is detracting from your life so that kind of leads on to the next point that i'd make um and that is that if you kind of if you're looking at prepping as something totally different from the existence that you're currently living then it's always going to be a bit of a a bit of an expense that is going to be possibly not used i mean the way the world's going you never know but uh, but i mean if you get into wild camping that is great and practice makes perfect what better practice for a bug out run than going wild camping for a meet weekend with your friends or your family so uh, so yeah i mean then you'd be buying all the equipment you'd be getting your tent you'd be getting your bug out packs sorted you'd be using them you'd be finding finding out what works so I'd, I'd suggest kind of that would be would be a good way and that's also a good way to get your family prepared without them really know that they're being prepared they'll think they're going on a nice camping holiday for a weekend and uh, and doing some bushcraft stuff and uh, and they're training for the apocalypse so there you go those are my tips to new preppers um and the other thing that I would say actually that I think I want to add is that I've been seeing quite a few people posting on Facebook groups saying their journey to the realisation that prepping is a good idea. Um, and a lot of people have come through that through a lot of personal tragedy and a lot of personal personal stress and hardships and I'd say anybody that has lived through difficult times whether physically or emotionally that sort of resilience is the main skill as a prepper so yeah skills and resilience that won't cost you anything and most people are going to have more of that than they think that they have now so yeah if you're new to prepping please subscribe to my channel and uh yeah welcome welcome to the madhouse peace and love